Hello there! If you're looking for some inspiration to clean your fridge, freezer and get ready for shelf timber, which means basically shelf cooking and using up what you have in your home already, then stick around. Today I'm going to take you along and clear out some of my very tiny kitchen, which is right here behind me. Hello there friends and a warm welcome back to Simple Essentials. My name is Emmy. if you're new to this channel and we talk all about simplifying and decluttering your life in this channel, whether it be your finances, food related, home related. And today it's the latter of those two, sorry, three categories. So we are going to work on my fridge and my freezer today. I'm also going to be cleaning up underneath my fridge. I don't actually know how long it's been since I moved the fridge out and actually cleaned behind it. Uh, but the reason for this is twofold. Firstly, I live in Australia and in my state here in uh, Australia, which is Victoria, we've been in full lockdown due to external circumstances, uh, pandemic style, and we are basically not really allowed to leave our homes more than a couple of hours every day. So we're spending a lot of time in our homes and I'm spending a lot of time in my kitchen. And I really wanted to make this video for you guys today, partly to help myself stay sane in a time where you're not really allowed to go out and do stuff. And secondly, um, I have heard and read a lot about shelf cooking or shelf timber, as some people call it here on YouTube. And basically what it is, is going through your fridge, your freezer and your pantry and using up as many ingredients as you can in your cooking. It'll save you a bit of money, it'll reduce waste and avoid you having to throw things away. So we're going to start with my fridge and my freezer in today's episode. So let's have a quick look at the before. So you can see here we have a small apartment style fridge freezer. It's not very big but um, it fits enough for a couple of weeks worth of food for the two of us. So um, in the door here we have that's frozen celery. I quite often use that for things. We've also got some salami and ham for pizzas. We've got some quite a bit of bread. My partner is gluten free so we've got regular bread for me and gluten free for him. Some frozen berries of various styles in there. Some frozen broccoli and as you can see we do have quite a bit of frozen veg, more of my frozen celery and some turkey mince. So it's not too bad, it certainly isn't as stocked as we normally do keep it. Um, and down here in the fridge it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, it's not a very big fridge and I've actually taken one of the shelves out because um, it wasn't very practical. But And then down here we've obviously got a veggie crisper which has all sorts of stuff in it. So I'll empty this all out for you in a moment, but this is the before that we're dealing with. We do have a fair bit of kind of curry pastes and condiments and all sorts of things like that. Some bubbles, because when do you not need bubbles? And um, almond milk. We both um, kind of have non-dairy milk at the moment. Um, so that's essentially what we are starting with. And this is a little shot when I moved the fridge out. I took a little photo. The cat has put her little balls and the little things she plays with behind it. It's probably been a good year since we moved the fridge out. So I gave that a really good clean, but I did spare you that footage because it's very hard to get into that nook. And here on top of the fridge, you can't really see, but it was so dusty. So it was really nice to move that out of the way and get that all cleaned up. And then I use this um, big butcher block thing that I have on top of my stove when we're not cooking and just emptied everything out from the freezer. Um, looks like we've got a lot of bread in the house, but it's only because um, I eat regular bread and Paul eats gluten-free bread. So yeah, I got that all out because I also wanted to take a bit of inventory on like what I had and what needed to sort of get used up as well. So a pretty big pile of food there. Um, and yeah, so the freezer blocks, we, we do normally, like if we go for picnics and stuff, we obviously do bring that kind of stuff with us to keep things cold. I had some turkey mince. That little plastic bag I put to the side is some of Paul's beer brewing things. Um, had a bit of leftover raisin toast. And yeah, I have quite a bit of celery. And it's actually celery, if you're using it in soups and stuff, it's really good to freeze. I had some salami and some ham that we use for homemade pizzas. So yeah, you can see it's just a giant pile of frozen vegetables and frozen corn, etc. And inside the freezer, once I'd emptied it out, you can't really see it very, it doesn't look as bad here in the footage as it did in real life. 
Um, the tray for the ice cubes was actually empty so I decided to take all that out and give it a really good um, clean because um, again it's probably been a it's been about a year since we moved into this apartment so about a year ago I gave all this stuff a really good scrub and it's amazing that the ice hasn't built up <laughs> in it so I'm very grateful that I didn't have to defrost the freezer but if you need to get cleaning and you want to clean along with me please go ahead and do that because all I do is some um, soapy water and a microfiber cloth and just give everything a really good wipe down. I normally don't use cleaning sprays and things like that unless it's really really grotty because um, hot soapy water and, um, and, a, and a rag is just fine I find. And then moving over to the sink I'm just giving everything a really good clean and a little bit of a scrub um, because yeah like it, it does build up and even with ice I don't know what your household is like but we don't always have ice with our drinks so sometimes that ice that sits in there gets really old which obviously is an ideal I don't know if ice can go bad maybe it can maybe it can't but anyway <laughs> nevertheless I gave it all a really good clean and it felt really nice to just give it all a wipe down I am really happy with how this turned out. It might not look all that different to you <laughs> from where we started, but it was really nice to just look at what we had, group the things together a little bit better, and have some plans of different meals that I wanted to make based on what I had there. You'll see I've grouped the celery together, um, the ice packs, um, a little bit of piece of raisin toast, which I have a weakness for, and some salmon. So that's all sort of grouped together quite nicely. So now I've got a really clear view on what I have. And here is some stuff that I actually ended up making some meals from. So this celery has been in the freezer for probably a month. So I'm going to use that for a soup. Uh, this is frozen spinach that I'm also going to be using for a fish curry that I'm making. Um, we had two portions of salmon that had been in the freezer for quite a while. And the turkey mince we ended up making tacos of. So that was really, really nice. And just a couple of things that needed to get used up before the other things. And I also found some frozen berries and stuff. So I made myself a yummy smoothie to take a little break. <laughs> Moving right along to the fridge, same thing here, just emptying it all out. And as I do this, and I don't know if this is something you do, I'm always incredibly grateful because I have been through periods of my life where finances were really tight. So every time that I look into my fridge or empty the fridge out like I'm doing here, I almost sort of thank the food um, out of gratitude that I can afford to fill my fridge because I know that there are many people out there who can't. So I'm incredibly grateful that I can. And like I've said in previous videos, if you have any food insecurities or financial problems in your family, do reach out and make sure that you get some help and support because everyone deserves that. Anyway, back to the video. I'm obviously cleaning everything out here and cleaning out the mess that I find um, along my way. But here is basically what we've got. So I've grouped together the condiments and sauces here. There were a few that were kind of empty that I've gotten rid of. Uh, some gluten-free beer for Paul. And then just your random stuff. Some tomatoes that were going to be used for a homemade salsa. Um, got some uh, hummus. Those two eggs up there are actually boiled eggs. That's why they're not in the crate with the other eggs. Some mustards and sauces and curry pastes. I also have a small tub here of homemade hummus which is actually really easy to do I'll link the video for you if you're interested in making it yourself but that big tub of hummus we bought for convenience and it's actually almost empty as I filmed this um, some pickles and jalapenos and other things and tahini that I use when I make my hummus um, some pizza ingredients some ham and other things milk and carrots and some beverages of different kinds and some eggs so that's essentially everything that was in the fridge. And once I'd emptied it out, it actually wasn't too bad, but it did need a really big clean. So I did the same thing as you saw me do with the freezer. Just um, took everything out, washed it in warm soapy water and put it back in. And here is the final clean result. That top shelf has a little door on it, but I never really use it. I find that it's more in the way than 
not uh, and that veggie crisper drawer is looking much much nicer so i was really stoked to have this done it's probably been a good six months since i gave the fridge a really good wipe down i normally just wipe off the messes as as i see them um but yeah it felt really good to do that so i've got my food grouped here nicely i've got um beverages and things like that and pickles and stuff like that on this shelf and then I've got my eggs and other things and the veggie drawer I ended up cleaning out a little bit which was really nice so you'll see in a moment there are a few things that I needed to sort of use up so I've left those out of the fridge so that we can finish those things off um, mustard and some sauces and some champagne who doesn't need some champagne in their fridge so I'm really stoked with that, how that turned out and it wasn't a huge change I guess but it was a really good reason to take some inventory on what I had. So here are some of the things that we'll be using up this week. These are some ingredients for homemade pizza. Um, here is some tuna and fresh lemon that I was using to make tuna melt sandwiches for lunch this day. I also did end up cutting up some of all that celery that I had and having that with some hummus and same with some cucumber sticks and some of those strawberries as well and this is a great use for plastic ziploc bags to use them to store onion and other things and not just throw them in the trash okay hopefully that was enjoyable and inspiring to you i feel heaps better for going through and doing this um, it did take a little energy and a little time to get started but i think when it comes to food it's really really easy to just shove things in the back of your fridge as you would have seen our fridge and freezer is really small so it's really hard for things to kind of get lost in the back but nevertheless we still have things in there that we don't use very frequently and it is really good to keep an eye on those expiration dates as well so i hope you enjoyed that uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to subscribe to the channel i'm going to do more videos of this type in my shelf timber lockdown series so feel free to follow along and give it a subscribe if you're interested in that all the best and I can't wait to see you in the next video.